Welcome to SenseMetrics Feature Demonstration Series. In this video, we'll walk through creating Windrose visualizations in the new Polar Plots module. The Polar Plots module allows SenseMetrics app users to make better decisions by having access to both real time and historical sensor data on a color coded, easy to interpret polar graph. As a new module, the first polar graph available is Windrose, with several other visualizations coming in the near future. The Windrose Polar Plot taps into new and existing Vaisala weather stations measuring wind speed and direction. The new visualization mechanism allows app users to quickly view and interpret wind vectors. For example, in mining projects, blasting is frequently necessary, resulting in large volumes of dust particles thrust into the air. In such projects, personnel must adhere to strict regulatory compliance, ensuring dust isn't carried to near population centers. As such, project activity must be modified due to wind behavior. Let's log into the app and see how it works. Here I am logged into my Sense Metrics account. First, I'll navigate here to Data. As you can see, we have a variety of data visualizations. I'm going to go ahead and select Polar. Next, I'll click this icon here to select which Vaisala weather stations I want to view. I'm going to go ahead and select these two, however, you can select as many as you want. I'll click Done, and as you can see, the Windrose polar plots of two sensors I selected are shown here. Right here, I can choose from a variety of time frames to see data for, for as long as the weather station has been active, to as little as an hour. The Windrose profile itself shows us a color-coded vector of wind speed, direction, and percentage of time during the selected interval that each wind vector was active. For example, in this Windrose profile, we can see from hovering our mouse over a specific section that, in the last month, the wind blew at a speed of 2 to 4 meters per second in a west-southwest direction, specifically 247.5 degrees, for about 5.5% of the time. During the same time frame, the wind also blew in a northeast direction at a speed of 1 to 2 meters per second for about 3.5% of the time. And if we adjust the time frame to say just the last hour, we can see that we've had a wind speed of 2 to 4 meters per second in a west-southwest direction the entire hour. I'll switch back to a time frame of the last month because that data is more interesting here. Right here, we can toggle wind speed display between metric and imperial. Clicking this gear icon gives us two options. First, we can set radial access limits to our chart. This adjusts the scale of each polar plot. For example, if I change this to 20%, you can see that the vectors shrink in because I've set the upper limit or the outermost ring on this plot to 20%. If I go back to 15%, you can see that this section here should add up to almost 15% of the time at these separate wind speeds. If I click on the gear icon again, this checkbox, show exact angles, simply toggles between displaying exact angles in degrees or as abbreviations. Clicking this button right here allows you to print your windrows or download it as a specific type of image or PDF. And lastly, this X simply removes this weather station profile from the viewing pane. For example, if I no longer want to view this windrows profile, I'll simply click this X to remove it. You can also add polar plots to reports. I'm here in the reports module creating a report. To add a polar plot to this report, I'll simply click Add Section, Polar Graph, and select the profile I'd like to add. And now, when this report is generated, the Windrose profile I created will appear in this report. Thanks for watching this demonstration on the Polar Plots feature. And as I mentioned earlier, we are continuing to add multiple additional polar plot visualizations to this module. For more information on the SenseMetrics platform, please visit us at sensemetrics.com.